Wow, what a game. Full time at Villa Park. Villa, oh my God, Jesus Christ. And it's finished. Villa 2, Chelsea 2. And uh, yeah, of course, big controversy at the end. Of course, speak about, I'll speak about that in a second. But for me, that was the game of two halves. Complete game of two halves. I thought Aston Villa dominant in the first half. Chelsea really, really poor. Obviously, the two goals from Villa were good. The first goal, own goal from Mark Kukurea. Um, from Mark Kukurea. Um, McGinn swung, McGinn put a ball into the box. It came off Kukurea. I thought, I thought Watkins put it in, but it came off Kukurea. Own goal. And of course, the second goal was a really good goal. Um, from the former Borough man Morgan Rogers put in the bottom corner. Good goal. I mean, Chelsea poor for. I mean, all Chelsea did for the first half, they just passed it side to side. They did nothing. They had a lot of the ball, but they just really didn't do a lot with it. And I thought Villa were really good first half. But second half, though, the tables literally turned. Chelsea, better team second half. Attacking wise, they were better. And I don't know what Mauricio Pochettino said to the said to the players at half time, but whatever he said, it worked because Chelsea were by far the better team second half. I mean, obviously Robin Olsen had to come on at half time for Martinez. I don't know if Martinez was injured or whether um, Olsen needs a bit more. Um, whether Olsen needs some game time to prepare for the game against Olympiacos on Thursday because obviously Martinez can't play the first leg because he got. He's got he got two yellow cards against Lille. Of course, he got booked in the match, like in the 120 minutes. Of course, he got booked in the penalty shootout as well. So he can't play the first leg. So I don't I don't know what's happened to Martinez, but I'm sure Emery will say what's happened. Um, but but yeah, but like I said, I thought Chelsea played really well second half. But Villa though, Villa were all over the place second half. I mean. Defensively, they were all over the place. Attacking-wise, they weren't as good first half, in my opinion. And Chelsea, I thought they played really well second half. And I think they deserved a point. And, uh, yeah, but anyway, let's get on to the controversy. Was it a foul? Should the goal have been disallowed? Now, for me, uh, for me, I'm, it's just a bit of a joke now, let's be honest. I mean, we're disallowing goals for shoulder. Co football is a contact sport. So, I mean, we're disallowing goals for shoulder barges. I, I mean, to be fair, for me, I think it is a foul because if it was, like, a little nudge, not, like, a full-on, like, like that. Like, if you've seen it, obviously, by the shield, obviously, it's Diego Carlos and by the shield. They're both going for the ball. By the shield, literally, like, goes like that into Carlos. Like, it's a, like he full-on leans his body like, with a lot of force into Carlos. Moves him out of the way by the shield, gets the advantage of the ball, puts it in, and then of course the sassy heads it home. But if, but if by the shield, like I don't know, if it was like a little tap or something, or like I don't know how to really describe it, but if it was like I don't know, if it was like not a full on shove, like move out of the way, like a I don't know, like a like a fifty fifty challenge or something. Then I could understand, but it's like he's full on put, moved him out the way and he's gained an advantage. Therefore, it's a foul. But I mean, I mean, I can understand Chelsea fans being frustrated. I mean, that they, they, I mean, you can, I mean, you, can, you, can, you have to feel bad for their fans. Though, let's be honest. I mean, they were going like, yeah, and I was, I mean, too far. I think that's the one thing. I mean, too much. I just feel like you just really can't celebrate goals anymore. Because you just know that VAR is going to check in and probably most likely get disallowed for some sort of reason. I mean, I think something happened in the United game earlier, which VAR got wrong. I mean, I'm, I'll pause match for day, of course. After I've done this video, I'll, put, I'll resume match for day. But, but yeah, but it's a foul, though, in my opinion. By the shield, you can literally see. Shoves Carlos out the way, gains advantage. It's a foul. Chelsea fans, come at me all you want. Call me biased. It's a foul. He pushes him out the way, gains an advantage. It's a foul. Like I said, if it was like a little push, not because, like I said, by the shield uses his full strength to full on move him out the way. If it was like not his full strength, I don't know, maybe half of the strength, like literally, literally, Carlos 
it was going for the ball like this, and then he ends up from here to here, like here. But if it was like from here to like here or something, then fine, I can understand trans fans being angry about it. But yeah, but overall, overall though, I mean, Chelsea, it's still a good result though, because Villa, they're fine for Champions League, Villa Park, it's tough to go, it's a tough place to go. And overall, Chelsea fans, don't even though they they obviously they feel that they've been robbed. Still, it's still a good result though. It's still a good result going to Villa Park and getting a point. I mean, it's good for us. So thank you very much, Chelsea. But but yeah, and anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. I'm gonna watch match today. Yeah, bye.